Kyle Shanahan's usage of some of these younger guys. And we won't spend as much time on this as we talked about with Debo Samuel. But it was interesting for me to, to see that the 49ers up at this time is like 31-10. The game is out of reach. And Kyle Shanahan was helping on not throwing the ball. Matter of fact, they did not put the ball in the air at this time. And there's about four minutes left. And all he did was just straight handoffs. All right. Everybody's saying good morning, mom. Um, all they did was straight handoffs. And I'm thinking, like, we talk about getting Trey Lance reps and things he's going to see and just, just the live bullets of what it looks like. Even if we're going to get him in just to hand the ball off because there's four minutes left, we're not putting the ball in the air. All right, we don't want to mess anything up, give the Rams any type of weird things that bounce their way, kind of like what happened with the Rams. We're just going to hand the ball off and whatever. I think the 49ers hand the ball off like 10 straight times or whatever it was at this time. All right. Why can't you get Trey Lance in there to do that? Now, again, I know what you guys are thinking, like, oh, it's the end of the game or whatever. But sometimes it could be just getting the guys in the right run call, right? You know, lining up. Okay, we got to flip it. I don't know if some of you guys watch uh, Eli Manning and Peyton Manning and their cast, but I watched some of it, right? I was kind of – when the 49ers were on offense, I was listening to them. When the 49ers were on defense, I was watching the regular cast until they started having these guests on, and they're not even talking about the game, really. But anyways, I'm watching them, and they said something. And I think it was uh, – Jimmy Garoppolo now said, like, Oscar, 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 or something like that. And they were like, that's him flipping the play call to get the run. And he's like, is, he's not audible but he's flipping which side they're running to. So maybe they were going to be running to the left. He flipped it with that call to run to the right just to get them in the right situation. Those That, too, we always think about from a passing standpoint for Trey Lance. But from a running standpoint as well, that's beneficial to just have that experience of seeing that and understanding how to flip these calls and do those things like okay we got this many guys in the box here okay we're gonna flip it here i felt like that was a great opportunity just get him those reps just get him in the game let the nerves kind of settle a little bit right hand the ball off just get those live reps even if you're not putting the ball in the air and i thought that was kind of a bosh opportunity and it kind of reminds me of early in the season i was talking about this i was upset you're talking about week four seattle trey lance comes in the game and i'm like He's not set up to play right now, but he's not set up for any type of success. Hasn't got any reps with the ones really Uh, like 90% of the snaps in practice are geared towards getting Jimmy Garoppolo ready. And they don't even practice like y'all, like people think. All right. And then it's like, all right, you come in, he hasn't had any live reps. Like it's the first, like get him those reps. We did it against the lions. I'm the, the he didn't have a whole lot of running yards or anything, rushing yards or anything like that. But just getting him in the flow, even if it's just five care, five, five plays, just get him those live reps, five plays. Can we figure out how to get Trey Lance five plays? Doesn't have to start. I'm not saying start him. And I don't want to mess up Jimmy Garoppolo's flow, but flow or rhythm, right? And that's the thing you risk with a starting quarterback. But other teams have figured it out, whether it was, you know. Drew Brees and, and Taysom Hill or whatever. Like, you figure out just different ways, different little areas. Okay, we want to get him in the game here. Do this with him. Okay, you know, okay. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, you go back in and you do your thing. Get him those live reps. And I thought this was another blown opportunity. So what's going to happen? You're going to have you're gonna have our guy, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, get hurt. Knock on wood. Don't want him to get hurt. He's playing good football right now. But Jimmy Garoppolo, and then you throw in Trey Lance, and all of a sudden it's just like, damn, I ain't been in the game since. When's the last time he's been in the game? Since Arizona? <laughs> he hasn't taken a snap in the game since Arizona. So if Jimmy goes down, Trey Lance, is everything just continues to be sped up. So I looked at this game, and I'm like, man, this is not just an opportunity to get Trey Lance in. When the game is over and all you're doing is handing it off. Again, he's not putting the ball in the air. He's not throwing the ball. I'm not saying throw passes. I'm not saying do any of that, do any trickery or anything. Just hand the ball, see the front, okay, Okay, hey, I got to flip this play call, or, hey, you should have flipped this play. Give him those live reps. Get him to see it. You know, games just continue to kind of slow down a little bit for him. Give him, the, give him that opportunity. I thought this was a missed opportunity, and not just for him, for Trey Sermon, right? You you still can't get Trey Sermon any runs? Trey Sermon, you would think that he sucks. Trey Sermon doesn't suck. Let me get to this, and I'll get back to Trey Sermon. Let me write it down just so make sure I get to it. Croc, I agree 100%. There was five minutes of garbage time, perfect time to play Lance, uh, get Lance some reps. 
Exactly. Like, again, it, if you're saying you got to throw it to, you know, keep the night. Okay, no, no, no. But we're talking about, like, it was just like 10 straight handoffs in two different drives. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing, Kyle? We can't get your third overall pick in the game to hand the ball off? We're really weird. I'm interested to see, like, just curious, does his method of how he wants to bring along Trey Lance work? But then he goes, and uh, I think it was Grant Cohn that posted it. And I want to get it right. So let me pull up my Twitter account. Let me pull up Grant Cohn. Grant tweets a lot, so hopefully I could, I could find it. All right. So um, let's see. So Kyle Shanahan came out and talked about Trey Lance knowing the entire playbook and that he needs live reps. But I want to get the exact quote. Here we go. Kyle Shanahan. Trey has the whole playbook in his head. He was able to do that in training camp. It's about going through it full speed at game time tempo. Going against the blitzes and all that stuff that can surprise you. That just comes with experience. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to read it again. Trey Lance has the whole playbook in his head. This is Kyle Shanahan. Trey Lance has the whole playbook in his head. He's able to do that in training camp. It's about going through it at full speed, game tempo, going against the blitzes and stuff that can surprise you. That's what comes with experience. So, okay, let's say we agree, which I'm pretty sure we all do agree. Kyle, how the fuck is he supposed to do that if you don't put him in the game? How is he supposed to do that if you don't got him in the game at all? Where's his experience that he – how is he going to get this at full speed with the tempo, seeing the different blitzes? And I'm just saying, okay, it's garbage time. We're not even throwing the ball. Just get him in there to run the rock, to hand it off, I mean. Don't even, he don't even got to run. Don't even risk him getting banged up or knee or anything like that. He's handing it off. That's all Jimmy did for the last two drives. Hand it off, hand it off, hand it off, hand it off, hand it off. Get him used. I mean, even that, even those full speed reps helps. Just what he's seeing on defense. What are you seeing? What what look did they give you? Uh, what run blitzes did they do? Just that that helps with experience. All that. So it's like Kyle, what are we doing? What are we doing, Kyle? I don't know. It's interesting, and it's not just it's not even just uh, Trey Trey Lance. It's Trey Sermon as well. 